We're going to talk about a small town with a big secret that has families unraveling, and it's all thanks to the brand new prime hit series based on the novels by Louise Penny. It's called Three Pines. And why were you looking for Julia? To make up or carry on the fight? <laughs> Dad owed you nothing, and you left when you were 16. Because of what he did, yeah. He was protecting you. He was a monster. Oh, you were still desperate to please him, though, weren't you? I was just a kid. Telling tales out of spite? Yeah. Just a kid, huh? <laughs> you betrayed my trust, Peter, because of you. You know what? I didn't kill my sister. Well, Peter claims he didn't do it, and if anyone knows the truth, it has to be our next guest who plays Peter Morrow. The talented actor, producer, and voiceover actor joins us now to help unravel all the mystery. So let's give a big hello to Julian Bailey. Good morning. Good Thank morning, so Julian. I'm OG as an original gangster. Nice to meet you. It's, it's so nice to meet you, OG. Thanks uh, for having me. No, thanks for being here. By the way, congrats. This is a big hit all over the place. It's the number one, yes. like wherever you look, it's number one. So congrats to that. So uh, I have to tell you, Peter, because it premiered with two episodes, right? So I thought Peter did it in the, for, for CC's situation. I'm sorry. So forgive me. So tell, people are going to be so invested in this. So talk to us about this little town with so many secrets and so many people with targets on their backs. Yeah, exactly. No, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, no, it's a funny little town. You know, it's a it's one of those towns that uh, is both appealing and sort of uh, maybe puts you on the edge at the same time because the characters in the town all have a secret. There's something suspicious about every one of them. So during the episodes, like you said, we premiered with two, and then every week they they released uh, two more episodes, mm -hmm. uh, and now all of them are released. So. Uh, uh, you can binge it now, and uh, each story or each book that's sort of adapted happens over those two episodes. And then there's a season arc uh, of a crime that gets, uh, you know, that we deal with on, on the last episode. But until then, yeah, we just have these sort of micro crimes every two episodes, and then the season arc. All right, so like we said, it's a, it's a crime drama, but it's also funny because the characters are very quirky in their own way, right? So you get to, you, right. they're, they're solving a murder, but like even with some of the detectives and the investigators, they have like, like this quirkiness about them that makes you still laugh in the midst of all the murder and the mystery that's going on. And the location is impeccable and incredible. Is it as cold as it looks? It, it really is. I, I actually grew up about an hour and a half from where we filmed in Montreal. Um, moved to Southern California when I was 18, but uh, came back here and ended up getting cast in Three Pines. But yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful town uh, and just a gorgeous part of the country and part of the world, really, the eastern townships in Quebec, Southern Quebec, not far from the Vermont border. Uh, okay, but so yeah, we filmed. Julian, what I heard you say is that whenever we're in that area that we have a tour guide, did you just, is that what I just heard? Because that's all I heard. Like, you're going to be our, is that what? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hit, hit me up. Okay, is that what you're <laughs> doing? Is, is that where you're going to be for New Year's? Are you going to be there for New Year's or are you going to be somewhere else? No, unfortunately, unfortunately not. I will be in Montreal, though, where I am at the moment, uh, but I won't be in the eastern townships, which is kind of, you know, the countryside, which is what you see in the, in the show. All right, so, so because um, if, if there was ever a crime and someone's, uh, like, uh, like, accused of stalking, I would be, like, the, the, the person, like, that's guilty of it. So in my stalking situation of you, did I see somewhere that you were doing stand-up? and you were discovered doing stand-up. Is that correct or is that not true? Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, you know, after I, I moved to L.A. to go to school, and then I actually started my career in the U.S. in Chicago where I was doing theater, when I went back to L.A. after I, I lost out on a role that I was really hoping to get that was actually supposed to go to Broadway, um, I went back to L.A. and, you know, lived in my car for a while. And then just after two years of struggling and, you know, eating tuna out of cans with a plastic fork and peanut butter out of jars with a plastic spoon and whatnot, and just trying to survive, I started doing stand-up. And so I, I went up at the comedy store on Sunset. My first night up, I, I was seen by an agent who, uh, who brought me in and signed me. And then I started, you know, getting some traction after that. But, you know, there were still a lot of ebbs and flows and ups and downs. But, yeah, stand-up was kind of my way in what? originally, which I <laughs> well, I, We're hoping that you, you go back to it and do some stand-up because I would want to see that. Yeah, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I know it's probably not what you'd expect from my character in the show, but I know. Uh, you know, you just kind of got to learn how to how to do whatever you, you need to do to uh, 
to make it work and to to get your foot in the door. And I mean, I love comedy, but I have too much respect for real stand-up comedians and just comedians in general, wow. writers in general, to, to necessarily call myself a stand-up anymore. You know? Julian, <laughs> after listening to your story, I have like a ton of respect for you because you were just killing it. Um, you might end up killing people on your show. We don't know. If right. you want to yeah. find out if Peter Morrow ends up killing, just like Julian's killing in real life, be sure to check out Three Pines streaming now on Prime Video.